have another round of Relationship Roundup. And here is the question. If you knew your best friend's husband were having an affair, would you tell her about it? You know, there's a newly released movie out called The Dilemma, and this deals with this topic. So let's take a look. Awesome. My best friend's wife with another man. You gotta go right up to him and you gotta say it. Nick, here's the truth. You're gonna be okay. I love you, my man. Come here. Why is that man hugging himself? Just keep walking. Tiny dancer. Let's go. So, so what will our roundup women say? I want to introduce you to them. Welcome back. Thank Patrice you. Blakemore from Blakemore Coaching. You have yes. three children, yes. married eight years. Barbara Rose, two adult beautiful children. <laughs> you hate it when I say this, married 39 <laughs> years. And Rochelle, married six years with three children. Yes. So this is the big question. If you knew your best friend's husband were having an affair, would you tell your best friend? Just chime right in. That's a loaded question because yeah. you know you're going to lose your best friend. Right. Will you? Absolutely. Well, wait a minute. People, I, I've I don't think. I don't okay, think ahead. so. I would definitely tell, because for me, it would be a health issue. I would want to save her life. Why is how? In, in because if he's cheating, you're not going to expect that he's just necessarily going to use protection. And if they're, I'm um, having, you know, uh -huh. in a monogamous relationship, I would let her know so she can make those kind of precautions. So you're thinking about the physical mm -hmm. ramifications. Absolutely. I think you need to be pretty sure that you know for sure that he's having an affair before you say anything to the person that the female person that you love so much that you don't want to hurt. <sighs> Because can you imagine if you said that and it wasn't true? Could be a sister. Yeah. I'm out of town. Yeah. You don't know. Well, right. I think I think we if you if you know for certain that it's that it's not a platonic relationship, I think you should definitely tell. Like Even in if, the movie, like absolutely. when you catch him in the bushes or whatever. I, you know, I definitely I think that you have. I think you could lose your re your relationship because what's going to happen a, a lot of times? She'll confront him. He'll say either I did or I didn't. She'll forgive him. He's mad at you. Mm -hmm. You all lose your relationship, and they're back together. But right. I think it's worth it. I think I think it's worth if you love that person enough to say I'm willing to step out of their life for them to not be in the dark. Even though it may backfire on you, and even may though and the re your relationship. Absolutely. With them. And I think if you if you do know and you're sure and you don't tell her. She could be hurt much later that you were hiding something, or why wouldn't you tell her? And I, I think it also depends on how you tell the person. Absolutely. You know? oh, okay. Not to embarrass her or anything like that. And I think if you, I think if you say it in a loving way, and right. it, and this is truly your best friend. There is no what. How, there's nothing you can say that she's gonna say. Oh. Thank you so much for telling me. I, I would. I, I would. Okay, we have to stop because we got to take a break. This, there's so much to talk about here. We will be right back with more of Relationship Roundup on this topic. Craig and Mark Lindell and Grange Insurance know that when you're out there doing what you do, the last thing you want to worry about is sketchy claims coverage from a cut rate insurance company. When you go with Lindell Insurance and Grange, you're working with companies that use big, bold brush strokes when it comes to claims and make an art of working out even the smallest details to make everything perfect. Contact Lendl Insurance or visit their website. Welcome back to Relationship Roundup. We're continuing a conversation we ha are having about if you knew your best friend's husband were having an affair, would you tell your best friend? So, Barbara, you brought up something about how you deliver that message. I, I think you might sit down with her and say, look, I love you and I don't want to hurt you, but I saw Dick with um, so-and-so and... Kathy said, and don't use me. Don't, 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 don't use my husband as an example. Okay. I'm not talking about Dick Dawson. I'm talking about somebody else. Another Dick. Another also, Dick, right. Yeah. I think also confronting the husband and saying, I, I think even giving him the opportunity to say, I'm with that. You need to I tell your that. wife, if you don't, I will. I will. Oh, I like right. that. Well, right. Well, right. isn't that what right. the guy did in the dilemma? He went to her first and said, look, I'm giving you, and she's going, you didn't see the movie. No. I have no, not he seen went it. to her first and she said, well, I'll just deny it. 
Okay. Yep. And that can backfire. And that can yeah, backfire. Absolutely. That right. can backfire. And then you're the bad so guy. You are taking a risk. We're back to square one, where you're, you may lose. You may be the one who loses. I mean, your and maybe friend. maybe she knows. Maybe she's just in denial. I know plenty of people. That's how they live their life. Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. And they just don't want to know. So they'll tell right. and they'll say, oh, thank you very much, but it's right. Yeah, I mean, the signs are there. Yeah, absolutely. But you're like, oh, no. This, you know. And, right. But, you know, I, I think that if that's the case, if you have, if this is your best friend and they're living in denial, I, I, I would kind of reassess my friendship because do I really want that type of person in my life? Oh, that's a whole other topic. Yeah, Jeez. we'll have to do that on another roundup. <laughs> wow. Well, now let's switch it. What if your husband were having an affair and somebody came Woo! to you? How would you Look, feel? Would you they need to let me know. <laughs> <laughs> you need to let me know. I'm like, totally I need to know. Shocked. I would be so shocked. I, would, I wouldn't believe a word they were yeah. saying. So yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I don't. Anyway. I don't live in denial. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe I do. 39 years, I'm in denial. <laughs> I, I, I just would be shocked and mm -hmm. and would say, okay, I'll go talk to him. Yeah, and absolutely. absolutely. And that's, absolutely. Right. And, right. And that would be if someone told me that. I was like, no. You must. No. Must be a lookalike. Would you be happy that they? told you that or would you I wouldn't be happy one? about anything yeah I wouldn't no, be happy but I'd be glad that they told you but also you need to also understand that someone may be telling you that to try to destroy your relationship so exactly. I think it is about knowing who you are married to and having that trust and if that but person but it's your best friend wait that's what what is, is your best friend what is her motive what is her motive if, if, if it's see, not your best funny. friend if it's I mean well we I, 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 you know, I think we kind of oh, that's okay. just crazy. Well, let's assume it's your best friend, and her motive is because, like you her said, motive Barbara, is she, that loves she loves you, you and she wants right. to care for you, and she wants you to herself. You know, her then I think it should beat her. No, I'm just. No, I, 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 <laughs> I think it would go back to having a conversation with your husband, and maybe it's something innocent, or maybe it is one of those things that he comes out or you find that there's something going on that you can begin to work on right. Right. but I think I would be I would be appreciative but I would again take it back to my husband. Okay now I know I'm really digging around here but if so your husband says no I'm not doing anything do you hire a detective? I mean what you've got this oh, little yeah. piece of information. Across the street. And I What's that? Needs work, <laughs> so. Say that again. What? I, would. I have a detective, a private eye, who lives across the street. Really? Aren't yes. you lucky? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, you know, my personality is such as, like I said, Inspector Gadget. That's when I would be on the hound. But, uh. um, you know, Facebook, everything else. But, you know, at the same time, you need to know your relationship. Right. And if there's some level of distrust there, then you have to look within yourself. If you get to that point where you have to dig around, then you may have to start looking at other options. Right. And get I some think help. if somebody says, that to you, you know something's not right in your marriage. Mm -hmm. right. you know, no matter how much denial you could way, be in. Right. And for me, yeah. I know that our marriage is pretty good. And if there were problems, eventually but, it would come what out. There, what if there were? It doesn't mean that somebody's cheating if there are problems. Do you that's know what I'm true. saying? That's so true. That's uh, you absolutely. know, we could sit here for another half an hour talking yeah, about it. But <laughs> thank you so much for each and every one of your perspectives. Now, if you'd like to continue this conversation, and I have a feeling you might, you can get a hold of us on Facebook and Twitter. And if you'd like to come on the couch and have fun talking about a question, you can email us at info at canyourrelatetv.com. Stay tuned for the Romance Review coming up.